Officials now confirming the deaths of a 17-year-old and 14-year-old boy over the weekend. The two were recreating in different areas, but both on water. ABC4's Northern Utah correspondent Kate Garner joining us with the warning officials are giving as we prepare for the holiday weekend. Kate. Sadly, that 14-year-old dying here at Hiram Lake State Park. Search and rescue teams recovering his body earlier this morning. Now, officials say they are preparing for one of the busiest weekends of the year as thousands and thousands of Utahns head out to celebrate the 4th of July. And as they do, officials are asking them to take simple steps to stay as safe as possible. The other drowning taking place at the Ogden Bay Waterfowl Management Area. Now it looks like the rivers are receding, and but it's still moving well above normal. Lieutenant Ryan with Weber County Sheriff's Office says people should still use extreme caution around rivers and streams. Along with moving faster than usual, the water is colder than usual. You can only stay in cold water for so long before you get fatigued and... Uh, hypothermia sets in. The same goes for lakes. It's not always as easy as people might make it seem or what you see in movies where someone just pulls themselves out. Uh, these situations can get, you know, dangerous fast. Devin Chavez with Utah State Parks says people need to remember that lakes are not like pools. Conditions are not controlled and lifeguards are few and far in between. Check for uh, current conditions before going out, wear your life jacket and go with a group so you can get help to you if you need it. Again, they say the water is colder than you expect, which makes it dangerous. They don't use flotation devices. They go out, they try to swim, and your body just becomes fatigued. Lieutenant Ryan says water below 70 degrees is considered cold water and can easily cause even the best swimmer to become fatigued and drown. Before you go out, they say it's also good to check the lake's life jacket rules. Different lakes may have different rules. For example, Kazi Reservoir requires everyone who is out on the water to wear a life jacket at all times. Reporting from Hiram Lake State Park, Kate Garner, ABC4 News.